We are on day 29th, right after the Relic Rush event, and if we check, the next Rush event is gonna start in 4 days after the Relic Rush event. We have another event, this is the Heroic Trial, and this is the equivalent of the Lava Behemoth in your family. You have 5 challenge every day, you are gonna have a ranking based on your damage over the 5 rounds, and I think you are gonna get these rewards daily. So during the video we are going to try to reach the higher score we can, but before let's have a look to the other events. We have the Elastic Challenge, this is a kind of angry bird in fact. You have your mushroom and you have to throw him in the direction you want. So make sure that you are trying to reach their back because your mushroom is going to bounce on the walls and on them and so you are going to have multiple hits by doing that. So for example I'm going to reach that direction and as you can see I am bouncing on them. So I'm going to reach do that again only two left so I'm gonna replicate the same at the, re at the left now okay that's perfect two times on the bus can I hit them another time yeah that was perfect a perfect shot and that time I'm gonna hit the shark and the bus directly okay the bus is dead only one left so I'm gonna kill him with the one attempt I guess and that's done. Five moves only and they are all dead so I get the three stars. Then you have some quests to complete daily. This is the path of growth. We have that again. We had that at the start of the game. So seven days and you are gonna get some more rewards daily. And we have some packs daily as well. With extra red diamonds, lamps, skip coupons and gold. So if you are planning to rush the level of your lamp you can buy these packs but the value is not that interesting but, but if you still want to buy the packs make sure that you are using Aptoid. This is the equivalent of the Play Store and the App Store but they are taking less fees and giving you some cash back on every purchase. So using Aptoid, you are going to spend less and get more items. So for example if I buy this pack I'm getting the cash back and then I can go on another pack, select another payment method and use my AppCon's credits. In fact this is my cash back. If I have enough I'm going to be able to buy the pack and there we go I bought that one for free. And I have enough cash back to buy the other pack as well. If you want to know how to install and use Aptoid, I have a guide in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. You have my ID Discord at the right of the screen. And make sure that if you are using Aptoid, you are also using my promo code Mushroom as written at the right of the screen. You are going to get 5% extra cash back on every purchase. And this is a way to support my channel. So thank you to everyone who is using my promo code. Okay, so now let's concentrate on the heroic trial. You have 5 attempts daily and the goal is going to be to reach the higher score you can. So currently, if I check my sets, I'm going to try with the one I am using for every content in the game and mainly for PvP mainly, okay? This is my set. So I'm an archer, so on every piece of gear, I'm focusing on my combo and crit rate, but I have some extra stats as well. Here I have some skill crit. It's still interesting for me for PvP to deal high damage using my skills at the beginning. So here I have some skill crit as well. There I have some stun, but I don't care about having some stuns so in the future I'm gonna try to change that piece of gear and then on every other piece of gear I have some combo and crit rate absolutely perfect for my class even if it's only an immortal piece of gear it's better to focus on your attributes first before having your HP attack and defense on the gear then I have another combo crit rate immortal combo crit rate supreme combo crit rate immortal combo crit rate supreme again combo crit rate again on the supreme and another supreme with combo crit rate. I'm using these skills for PvP and these bars for PvP as well. The goal is going to be to have a lot of crit rate, uh, be immune to damage and deal some extra damage over time and deal the maximum damage I can during the first seconds of the fight in fact. For now I'm going to use that so I have some extra combo damage every time I'm using some skills. More damage with my octopus, more damage with my clones. Disarm lasts longer thanks to that one. And I have more damage over time, more attack over time thanks to that book. At my prayer statue, these are the stats I have. I'm focusing mainly on the global combo because I am an archer. 
I have some extra global attack and crit damage. If you are playing a mage, you want to focus on your skill damage first. This is the best source of damage you are gonna have and, and then some extra crit rate. So you are gonna also have some damage on the basic attack. This is the best way to increase your damage if you are a mage. If you are a warrior, you want first to concentrate on the counter and the crit rate. So this is the way to go. So first, I'm gonna challenge the boss with my PvP set, okay? So let's try the fight and have a look to the level there. It's gonna be fast, I'm gonna exceed the fight before the end. Okay, am I gonna be able to reach the level 86? Level 86, okay? This is the maximum I was able to reach with that set. Now I'm gonna change my set. This is the one I'm using for the Abyss. So if we check the difference, now I have the Tornado there to increase my attack. I'm using the book to increase my boss damage. I'm using that one because I'm using the Blitz Assault and so I'm gonna have more damage during Blitz Assault. And I'm using the crit rate. So now let's retry with that. Level 85, I'm taking damage. Level 86 again. And half HP, okay. So I'm gonna try to replace some pals now. Instead of the rabbit, I'm gonna increase my attack speed. So I'm gonna have more attacks during the run and maybe it's gonna be better. So let's try that. 85, I'm taking damage, 86, that's better for now, okay, and I died, but I was close to beat the level 86, so let's retry one more time to see if I am more lucky or not, 86, let's go, but I'm taking more damage, okay, and I was close to beat the level 86 as well, so what if I replace the tornado by that one? I'm gonna have more skill damage using that one, but the target is gonna lose some HP over time during 5 seconds, so maybe if he has a ton of HP, it's gonna do a difference. So let's try that. 85. No, it was a bit worse. So instead, let's try to increase my basic attack damage to see if it does a difference. 86. And I'm dead. Okay, half HP again. What if I increase a bit more my attack speed now? So I'm gonna use the skill to increase my attack speed and the pal to increase my attack speed as well. So who knows, maybe it's gonna be better. Okay, 84, 85, I still have the clone, 86, and I died. Okay, that was almost the best score I had so far. So what if I use the deer that time instead of that one? And then I'm gonna increase my attack over time. 85, I lost my clone. 86. Okay, I, I think it was a matter of luck. Okay, I lost my clone earlier. That was really unfortunate that time. I'm gonna change the book just to see if the attack increases better than the boss damage. And no, it's way worse to using that. I wasn't able to reach the 85. So the boss damage is by far the best thing you want to have on that kind of event. But now let's try to replace that one to increase the damage of my clone. 84, 85, I lost my clone. 86, and I'm gonna die, okay. Okay, so let's use that again. This is by far the best thing I can have. I'm gonna try to replace the clone just by curiosity to see if you don't have the clone, how much damage can you reach during the run. So instead, I'm gonna increase my attack speed. And there, instead of the deer, I want to have an extra attack speed as well. I'm not using the clone anymore, so I'm still using Blitz Assault. I'm gonna use that artifact instead. And let's see if there is a huge difference or not. 81, 82, 83, and yes, I died on the 83. The, the damage difference is huge when you are not using the clone. Yeah, this is terrible. Level 83. So yeah, the clone is by far the best skill we have. He can tank some damage for us and he doubles our damage. And what if I use the cactus instead of the octopus? Just let's say that I don't have the octopus. Okay, so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna select the, the extra damage on the cactus. Okay, we are gonna retry that and see the damage I can do without the octopus. 83, 84, 85. I lost the clone. 86, the damage is close. The damage is close when I use the cactus instead of the octopus. So let's try another time. 85, now it's a matter of time. Okay, and I'm gonna die. Okay, close to the 86. And now I'm gonna try to replace the dragon by another one. What if I use the rabbit? But without the dragon, I think I'm gonna lose a ton of damage, okay? 
My clone did not take any damage at all. Level 86. And there we go. Seriously? I replaced my immortal paths by legendary ones. And you are saying to me that it's better? Okay, let's do a third try. 84. Okay, and now that time it was worse. So it depends on luck after all. But using that, it's pretty strong apparently. So if you don't have the immortal ones, the result is gonna be close at the end. And what if I use... The chicken instead. 83, 84, 85, 86. Let's go. I was able to reach 86 with that. So in fact, if you are not lucky to have the immortal pals, you can replace them and you are going to have the same result at the end. And I'm going to do a last try. What if I increase my combo over my crit rate? I'm curious to know if it is going to make a huge difference. 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. Let's go, let's go, 87, 87, this is way better, 19k damage, that was pretty cool, and thanks to that, these are all the rewards I get, I got two premium seed and some hammers, this is great, it's better to increase your combo until you have the 100%, and once you have the 100%, you need to focus on the crit rate apparently. I knew that, but I wanted to make sure it was working this way. Now, I'm curious to know something else. About the class, many of you want to know what is the best class to use, the Arrow God or the Shadow Hunter. That one has more combo damage, some extra bullets every time you are do doing a combo, and more basic attacks. So I'm gonna reset for the video, just to see if there is a difference. It's gonna cost a ton of diamonds, but that's okay. I'm curious to know as well, so I'm gonna pick the other one. The Shadow Sniper. There we go. I'm the Shadow Hunter that time. So every time I'm going to crit, I'm going to increase my attack by 40% for one second. And this is what can make the difference, I think. I can have more damage on the basic attack. 50% chance to deal extra damage based on the current max HP of the target, 1%. And more crit damage bonus. So let's retry. I have the exact same stats. And I want to see if I can reach the same damage. 84, 85... Let's go, 86, and I'm dead. But now, what if I change the mask? Because that class normally deal, deals more damage with high crit rate. So this is the way to go, I think, with that class. So we are going to find out. 82, 83, 84, 85, and I still have the clone. Okay, he's dead. 86. And let's go, that was the last run, 86, so it doesn't really matter the class you are using, it only depends on the stats you have on your build, okay? So I was close using that class to the other result I had before. So I am top 4, but this is really close apparently. But if we check the difference in power, this is mine, 16 million 500. The top 3 has 3 million more power, the top 2 has way more. 5 million 400 more and the top one is above everyone so guys that was all for the video i hope you enjoyed it if it's the case don't forget to like comment and subscribe have a nice day and see you in the next one bye bye